find my paint, but I remember from where it was last season, I think. Be right back. All right, found it. <laughs> right where I left it last October or November, I guess. We used to always use um, Mars Black. But Goldens doesn't make Mars Black, evidently, anymore, so we're using the carbon. Carbon Black. All right. Ooh. It smells good. There's really no chemical smell to it. It's, it's, it's matte acrylic, so it's a water-based paint, but it just, I guess it's just the medium. It almost smells like a tad of ammonia in there, maybe. Maybe the paint's going bad, I don't know. <laughs> Regardless, a very happy Monday morning to everyone. We need to get these teal, get these teal going on. Worked on getting them sealed up yesterday. Actually had to get, not that this is totally uh, clean and straight in here, but really had to work on getting it kind of ship shape so that I could at least move in here a little bit more and uh, have the decoys work somewhat well as far as the flow and Karen stayed inside working on the inside which I felt bad about because I usually try to keep the house a little bit tidier or neater I do the dishes which I hadn't done the dishes in a while so she worked on that before we settled into a little bit of NFL football. Um, I think I said it, but I can't remember. Very happy Monday to everybody. Karen's off today. She's still in bed. So I got down here early. Well, not really that early, but early enough to get something done here. Super humid. This, this paint will this paint will take a little bit to dry. We may fire a fan up just to help speed it up. We may move them outside into the sun later on midday on it'll help this again it'll help this process go but with the decoys i've always been taught with these flat bottom contemporaries we work from the tail moving towards the head heads don't have eyes i gotta wear the eyes today too please help remind me <laughs> gotta get that i meant to do it friday afternoon and i did not don't have any we use nine millimeter i don't have a nine millimeter in these teal or i do not have any nine miller eyes for these teal and uh that's the size we use everything else i use pretty much 10 millimeter the widget will have 10 in them i've got a few sets of those but i actually need to order them also so we've got our first coat of clear down you can't see it i definitely can feel it i, I guess i do know the difference i can tell the difference of cork that or cedar that has it or does not have it on. But uh, it's on there. Get our first coat of black. Get it going on. Whatever Monday is, I don't know. I'm going to guess it's October 9th. 9th? I think it's the 9th. I should know for sure. I think it's, it is the 9th. October 9th. So it's October 9th. The month is going to fly by. Uh, month, October, the month of October historically has always been very busy. And uh, we got a little trip planned. We are headed to Canada. I definitely will post up a lot about that. I'm actually going to take the Big Mac along so we'll be able to edit on the road. Um, but just a lot of stuff going on. I'll, uh, again, as, as it gets closer to that trip, you will know exactly where in Canada we're headed. Um, something kind of exciting. I'm excited about it because, well, it's always exciting to have a puppy. But uh, truthfully, back in June, sadly, when we put Booger down, I, uh, I, mean, I thought I was done with dogs. At least labs for a while. And uh, sold the topper off my truck. Pitbull's F-350 sport a new, a new cap. A green one matches the truck. So I got rid of the dog box. It headed to actually somewhere, somewhat close to where we're headed. 
when we go to Canada, but it went back to Canada. The uh, here, I'll rewind a second. The box is actually made, manufactured, constructed, constructed, uh, fabricated in Ontario, Cornwall, Ontario, and um, nice enough that the box has went back to New Brunswick, so somewhat close to its home. And uh, Matt Wilson. A young up-and-coming dog trainer has it so he, he's got a six he's got a nice Canada built six hole eight foot bed dog topper that he put on his Dodge and um, I ramble and I get on little tangents so I need to reel myself back in and get back to the task of storytelling about the puppy so yeah we put Booger down in June sadly Booger, we miss you, bud. We do. Think about him often. Bristol. Actually, in the order of putting him down, it was... Booger was last. Poacher, little poacher dog, she was next in line there. And then the younger Bristol. Cancer got them all. And uh, then a long gap in between putting Coot down. And then the Diamond Dog was the first one. Actually, it was in October. October five years ago we put diamond down something like that but in that moment I just wasn't Karen and I talked about it she asked and I told her I was done so I'm done truly now nah, we can have dogs we're not having labs no nah. ran into that big shark and I'll have to go into that story in a bit still had the whole issue with the with the shark incident which you know am I gonna put a dog back in the water there's been dogs on the boat back in the water since the shark. But ultimately, we ran into a big shark. Duck boats measures over 26 feet in actual length. And um, the tiger shark, Ryan Wetcher, Wetchko Signs. Thank you very much, sir. Mm. Can you guess what's in here? <laughs> I did hear a little bit of ice, I believe. But, <laughs> Brian, thank you. We enjoy those mugs. Um, the tiger shark was over half, at least half the length of the boat. So, I won't say over, but it was at least half the length of the boat. So, it was a big shark. The thing that just bothers me the most about seeing it was not its length, but its girth, man. It was... 55 gallon, 55 gallon barrel, big. Um, so anyway, if we get this dog, which we are, you know, what am I going to do with it? Definitely, it's going to get trained, and then uh, to what degree do I use it? You know, daily with guiding and sea duck hunting and and all that goes along with that. So that's a uh, that's a bridge we need to cross, a path we need to go down. Not this year, but next year. I've got some time to think on that one. But I think where I was going with this is I told Karen I just wasn't, we're, we can have dogs, we can do whatever. I said, but I don't want a lab, don't want a black lab. We can do whatever with dogs, but we're not getting a lab. Nope. She said, you sure, you sure, you sure. And it's almost like the childbirth window is closed and we got to decide. And I don't know why we kind of felt that way, but we did. I was like, yep, I'm good. And then I said, you know, if we ever did have the chance to have a pup, I picked out a name. I'm not going to share that name right now because we don't know what name we're actually going to name this little, this little black female. So that's something to come in the future. She's like, that's great. That's great. So, We'll just keep that, file that away, and if it ever happens, we can use that name. And, um, but I was kind of joking around about that, you know, sitting on the deck at night out back, watching the sunset, talking about life and talking about things, and which we do a lot of.